Previously on the top five. Five. Number four. Number five. So apologize for his quality levels. Number three. <laughs> Peninsula Valdez and specifically Punta Norte. There's a little estancia in the north of the peninsula. It just has a little sheep farm on it. If you get there at the right time, you can get into a van and they drive you down to a penguin colony. I mean, and we were this close yeah. to the penguins. You, you were allowed to be close. like a, a meter away and they don't care because the adult penguins don't really have any land predators. They're completely chill with us walking by them. They were taking care of their eggs and the guy told us that day there was very likely to be some baby penguins hatched. Unfortunately, we didn't see any of them, but then we were just so up and close and personal. And then, at the end of being around these most beautiful, cute creatures, we drove back to the van, in the van, to the Estancia, and we ate. Uh, they cooked this like amazing, like locally grown <sighs> lamb on this open fire just in the corner of the restaurant. And it was, like, they, they served you this giant, like whole barbecue tray of different parts, ribs, leg, Oh. It was the best life. And, 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 we've and ever it's had. all you can eat. Yeah. And I had two servings. I was so full and I still ate two servings. So, how could that not be an amazing experience? Penguins and eating lamb. And we could see the sheep outside the window from oh. the restaurant that we're going yeah. to be eating tomorrow yeah. or next week. Yeah. It's just, yeah, you know, farm to table. That's what we like to experience. <laughs> Number two it is a place we did not really know anything about but we did not expect to be there and it's made our way and it is Ushuaia in Argentina which is the southernmost city in the world. So here's the insane story. We had a flight from Trelu, which is where Peninsula Valdez is, to Ushuaia on the same day of our cruise. So what is the lesson? Do not take a flight on the day that your cruise is supposed to leave. There was a strike. Strike in Buenos Aires. All of the flights from in Argentina all go through Buenos Aires. So it just meant that everything shut down, half the flights were cancelled. We were delayed seven hours in this tiny little nothing airport. We got to Ushuaia and we got in a taxi and we told him to step on it. Yeah, so I was like, mas rápido, mas rápido. And then like the driver is like asking me which cruise we're going on, and I said Australis, and then so I'm just like mas rápido por favor, yeah. and where he's driving, he's driving. You, you can see that in the harbor. He's like, that's your boat. Yeah. Australis is that. Already leaving. And it was yeah, it was gone. And so because of that, we stayed in Ushuaia for a week. We fortunately did catch our cruise. But we got to spend time in Ushuaia, which was just an amazingly weird city at the end of the world. We had some amazing food fished out of Beagle Channel. We fresh king crab. Fresh king crab. Never had had king crab that wasn't from Alaska, and like therefore never fresh because we never went to Alaska. But the sunsets. We had um, sea urchin in the Beagle Channel. Oh, and we went hiking in the National Park. Yeah, we had, uh, we had amazing craft beer because all the water there comes off the glacier. Like, it's just the coolest, weirdest town. So if you are going to Ushuaia for like an Antarctica cruise, that's why most people pass through there, stop for a few days. Yeah. Enjoy the place. Enjoy it. Take a boat tour through the Beagle Channel. Just walk around and enjoy what I think is very familiar to a ski town. Uh, yeah. But just even more chill than that. <laughs> Number one. Well, it has to be what we just finished doing a couple weeks ago. The Galapagos. And specifically in the Galapagos. We did one snorkel trip uh, where a sea lion made friends with our entire group of snorkelers. And he just spent about 40 minutes just chilling with us. In the water. Swimming upside down, running up to people, frightening them. He was running flirting. right into my camera. It was 
just yeah. it's the coolest thing you've And at the same time that was happening, penguins are just like whizzing by, swimming at what they say, 30 kilometers an hour. So yeah. I would see a penguin and I'd jump up, because we're supposed to jump up and like scream to everyone if we saw something really cool. I was like, penguin, penguin, penguin! And we're like, where, where, where? And then I looked down and I'm like, it's gone. So that was a, definitely a crazy experience, snorkeling every single day in the Galapagos with all of these beautiful, beautiful Shocks, animals. Sharks, rays, starfish, just all different shrimp. So the Galapagos uh, snorkeling experiences. So that's our top five. Uh, have you done any of these? Uh, what are your favorite travel highlights? We would love to know and we will try and get there. Yeah. Uh, check out our blog, theyeattheworld.com. Check us out on Instagram. They eat the world. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.